This is a Winnebago Solus Pocket. I assume that's the package, although they're talking about something else inside of there. So let's see. Winnebago Dodge Promaster. McLean's in Oklahoma, Texas. And these are cool. You know what? I've always been a Ford guy. But as far as these adventure vans go, I really think the Promasters look better. That doesn't mean they perform better or they last longer, but I've always just thought the Promasters looked better than, uh, than the Fords. The Fords put, Ford puts really small looking wheels and tires. They kind of cheese out on the wheels and tires. Sprinter vans from Mercedes look really good, but they carry a hefty price tag with them. Of course, this thing's not cheap, $114,000. One of the lower priced ones I've seen at this show, actually. 2024 Solus. 36 Bravo is what this is. Still 30% down at 180 months, $812 a month. Okay, well, 30% down on a $114,000 vehicle is roughly about $34,000 down. All right, it is what it is, but <laughs> we didn't come here to look at used stuff. So right there's your sliding door. Some camper vans have a door that opens like a French, like, yeah, like a French door, I guess. That's not what they call it though. Opens this way, opens that way. This one has a sliding door like a van does. Some power ports there. Oop, refrigerator right there. In the open, step up in here. This one's a shorter van. I want to end up with one of these, although I will most likely buy a used one because, I mean, let's face it, look at the price tag on these things. And I don't know how much, how well, I think they retain their value better than like a regular vehicle would. That thing folds down into the bed better than a regular vehicle would, but and they're, they're these cabinets and this wood is much more, you can tell it's much more well-constructed than like your standard RV fare. Springs on that, a rack there to, uh, just kind of hold stuff in place and keep it from knocking against the door and coming open. There's this system here, which I'm, okay, those are lights. Water pump right there. Some controls up there. There's your stove with two burners. Kitchen sink. Stove's on top of the fridge. Storage here. Storage. There's storage there too. Huh, it's a seat belt right there. So you can extend the seat out and actually have someone sit back here. More power ports, AC inverter ports, fresh tank level. And this is what's called the garage, but it has your composting toilet in it. And I think there's a shower. There's not a shower head up there, but it's got these hangers for a shower curtain right here. So presumably you could have a shower right here. This part here closes privacy in the shower just like that and then of course you just close your back door screen in the back door for when you're out using it close the back doors when you are using it as a shower or a toilet hopefully unless you're camping out in the woods by yourself and then who cares really the good yeah that's a max fan right there co2 smoke detector good air conditioner right there keep your air conditioner running when the presumably there's batteries in here somewhere the one thing I've noticed about these shows, these sales guys don't want to talk on camera. So you kind of have to go through and just kind of pick out what you see. There's probably a lot more about this that I don't know, but since there's no sales guys out here that want to be on camera, we're just going to go through it by ourselves. But yeah, Dodge Promaster, this is the short wheelbase, which is what, 100 and, I think 180 is the long one, and 150 is the short one. I may have that wrong. 120 might be the short one. There's probably more than one size actually, but roof is plenty high. Of course, I'm not very tall. So for a person my height or even a few inches taller than me, roof is plenty high for that. Very well-constructed, well-built van. I like the color on it too. This gunmetal gray color is a neat looking color on these. It's used a lot on these vans here. Go around this side here, driver's side here. That might be for the, for a generator, I don't know. Built in standard 30 amp plug. It's just access to some kind of hoses or something in there. Water tank dump. Dump tank flush. McLeansRV.com, Oklahoma and Texas. There's one in Louisville, Texas I've been to a few times. And so this is their display at the Dallas RV Super Sale of 2024.